Here is my patch explanation for uh, glitching, my most recent patch. Um, it all starts up here with my variegate fork plus. Um, in channel one, uh, I am controlling the main melody here. So that is going out to the uh, pitch input of my mini brute, um, which is controlling the pitch for both, both uh, the oscillator one and oscillator two um, here. Um, that's just a uh, eight step sequence um, that I pitched into, um, just kind of tweaked with it uh, until I had what I liked, found a scale that I liked um, and went with that. Um, but the unique thing that I wanted to try out with uh, my new hexagram, uh, having lots of VCAs at my hand, what I actually am doing is uh, I'm not using uh, these sliders at all to get that playing through. Um, what that would sound like if it was going one would be like this. That's the main melody, but instead I am taking that out uh, of here, of each of the inputs, the triangle and the square wave, um, sending that into my VCA here and having that being controlled by channels two and four the gate channels of my variegate 4 plus now ideally i'd have um, an envelope generator or uh, some sort of slew limiter to turn my gates into a little bit more of a attack decay thing but right now it's just straight up on and off um, on these so channels two and four are set up uh, channel two is set up to be a full all eight steps channel four is just four steps um, they're divided to be interesting um, speeds, uh, but we've, so we've got this going on now. Uh, so these guys are blinking to turn on and off the sounds of the triangle and the square wave, and that's all being sent out into the external input of my MIDI brew. So that's coming right in here. Switching back and forth between the triangle wave and the square wave, adding some interesting rhythm uh, to what's happening there. Um, that's the main melody that's happening. Oscillator 2 is, of course, following that same melody, um, but down an octave, so I bring that in some as well. Um, the, main voice, the main voices are being uh, FM'd bit by uh, Oscillator 2, um, and interesting things happening um, with uh, how um, these guys are, are turned up as well with pulse mist width modulation and the ultra saw on those uh, sounds as well to just give those both a little bit more dirt. Um, the other main thing that's happening is Platts is being my bass drum. Um, it's originally on bass drum mode. Um, I'll show you how I change the modes in, in just a bit, but it's being triggered um, by my velocity track here. Uh, on my MIDI brute that I have set to gate mode. So I have my rhythm typed in here, uh, and that is going up to trigger uh, the plats. Um, then uh, that's coming out, and the neat thing I'm doing here is that's going into the metalizer in sound. So right now my bass drum sound is coming into my triangle wave things. And that lets me mess with the metalizer amount. Of it. So, uh, and then you'll notice I am also getting these snare sounds on here. You can see it jumping. That's coming again from my variegate. This uh, third track is another uh, CV track. Um, I uh, turned the vol. Uh, send it through this VCA first just to only have it be a little bit of it so that I can basically have it be if I have it set here it's bass drum if I have it set in the middle it's uh, snare if I have it set over here it's hi-hat um, and it just gave me a little more control um, by turning down the volume on that CV um, and then uh, that then is coming into the model input here so uh, then the only other thing that the only other things I have plugged in here are uh, a slow uh, LFO 2 um, from the Mini Brute is just tweaking the timbre a little bit, giving some changes in the sound. And then VCO 2 is, uh, is, is I'm FMing that a little bit with that, which makes some interesting things happening too. This is with the metalizer all the way down. Here's the drum sound. It gets pretty. 
just make some interesting sounds without it at all. It's just a basic sound, and you can hear the timbre changing slightly with LFO too. But just to a little more dirt sometimes. Toss on that frequency modulation from LFO two as well. Um, yep, that's basically it. Um, you'll see I've got my sync out of the mini brute to the clock input of the variegate, um, and that's uh, and then all of the amp out. I'm just running it out this way for some reason, running it uh, out of the amp out into there instead of running it out of the main output of the mini brute for some reason. That's how I'm doing it. Um, and that is what's going on here. So, yeah, uh, I, I had the idea. My, my main starting point with this was this idea here of having uh, a main melody be playing but not having each wave have the same rhythm, uh, having it jump back and forth. And um, I might try this, doing this again to make it more clearly hopping between the, the different um, waveforms. Um, this kind of lets it happen, but not as clear as I, I, wa I maybe wanted, but it's still, um, that was the idea that started it. Um, having the same melody played by the different waveforms, but instead of having it just control it with these sliders, have uh, my VCA um, and sequences uh, control which wave comes through. So, hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. <laughs>